Assalamualaikum ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to basic exploration and production training. Today we will learn about drilling operation. Drilling is the primary tool for extracting petroleum from rocks in the subsurface. Drilling engineering is the science behind the wells that produce oil and gas. Drilling engineering involves the planning, costing, developing, and supervising of oil and gas well operations. The drilling engineer is required to plan and drill variety of well types for the purpose of the following. Exploration and wildcat, for the appraisal, for the development, for relief and blowout, for re-entry, such as workover recompletion or workover sack track deepening. Why do we drill? For exploration and appraisal well, we drill to gather geological and petrophysical information and to prove presence of hydrocarbon. For the development well, we drill to produce hydrocarbons, to inject gas or water, or to perform work over deepening and site tracking. For relief blowout well, we want to control sudden expulsion of gas, of gas or crude, and or to intersect with the blowout either to relieve pressure or block the reservoir. For work over well, we want to intervene oil and gas wells involving invasive techniques such as wireline, call tubing, or snubbing. I just want to add for appraisal. Appraisal drilling is carried out to assess characteristics such as flow rate of a proven hydrocarbon accumulation. The main types of drilling systems include rotary drilling which involves a rotating drill bit. Percussion drilling used a hammering action and rotary percussion drilling combines both methods to penetrate various soil and rock conditions. Almost all oil and gas wells in the world are drilled by the rotary method. Here, I would like to introduce to you roles of the people involved in the drilling operation. Firstly, drilling engineer. It is the responsibility of the drilling engineer to design and plan the well and guide the drilling tools to the zone of interest. Drilling engineer must understand and able to synthesize the principles of geology, physics, mathematics, chemistry, and engineering science. Drilling technology is changing daily as well get deeper and rigs operate in deeper offshore water. It is a job of drilling engineer to design and implement a procedure to drill the well as economically as possible. The safety of the drilling crews and rig must be a prime concern of drilling engineer and rules and regulations of the governments of the countries must be followed. Drilling engineer must take into account the well be drilled so that the formations of interest can be evaluated as to their commercial value to the company. Drilling engineer is responsible to ensure drilling projects meet international, environmental and health and safety standards. Drilling superintendent. The drilling superintendent works hand in hand with the drilling engineer as the as the plan develops. Drilling superintendent will source out equipment and companies that will be needed for the success of the operation. Drilling superintendent will be the direct link to the organ to and to and organize all the contractors, including drilling contractor and all the service companies 
that will be used for the operation. The role of the drilling superintendent is to oversee and manage all drilling activities within a specific area or region including planning, resource management, safety, cost control, contractor management, performance monitoring, problem solving and team leadership. They are responsible for the successful execution of drilling projects while maintaining high standard of safety efficiency, cost effectiveness, and regulatory compliance. Drilling team key roles and interaction. For operator, the drilling superintendent will be at the base as a base team and drilling supervisor will be responsible for field team. For drilling contractor, base team will be the rig superintendent and the field team will be led by tool pusher. And service company involve mud engineer, mud logger, cementer, logging company and wireline company. Before continuing, it is extremely important that the people going out to the rig understand the infrastructure and the chain of responsibility within the working boundaries. For oil operator, drilling superintendent will be at the base and drilling supervisor will be at the field or on the rig. Drilling supervisor reports to drilling superintendent. And for drilling contractor, rig superintendent typically works in the field office away from the rig site and supervise simultaneously drilling operation of multiple wells. The rig site contractor man reports to the rig superintendent. The role of drilling supervisor in the field, the drilling operation and service company's personnel are supervised by the company rep who is drilling supervisor. Drilling supervisor duties are to see that instructions sent from the base in the form of contract or well program are carried out to the company's satisfaction. Accurate and honest reporting by drilling supervisor is very important and it will affect the daily running of operation. Drilling supervisor has a wide range of responsibilities. Ensuring that the work is safe and clean and organized. Ensuring that all drilling procedures are followed and all safety precautions are taken. Communicating with engineers and other team members about technical issues that arise drilling, during drilling operations. Preparing reports, detailing daily activities and any problems encountered during drilling operations. Managing drilling crews who are performing the actual drilling operations. Monitoring the amount of time required to drill each section of a well in order to ensure that deadlines are met. Reporting any problem encountered during drilling operations to appropriate party for resolution. Ensuring that all drilling equipment is functioning properly before operations begin and overseeing all drilling operations including hiring and training new employees and monitoring performance. Tool pusher. Tool pusher is responsible for the rig and keeping it running including the safety of the well and the people on site. Once orders are passed to him from drilling supervisor, it is his responsibility to see they are carried out as efficiently and safely as possible. He will check all equipment coming to the rig and report any defects and ensure all the rig equipment is maintained and in good working order. He relieve or supervise the driller should there be problems with the well ball. Tool pushers manage a team of workers on a drilling rig. Tool pushers are second in command of the drilling crew. Tool pushers job include 
managing day-to-day -day drilling operations, monitoring the work in progress and dealing with any problem that arise, ensuring that all necessary equipment, materials and resources are available, selecting, hiring and managing workers on board the rig and ensuring they are properly trained. Planning the cruise shifts and rotals. Ensuring the health and safety regulations are met, including the wearing of protective clothing and the correct use of safety equipment. Coping with an, an, any emergency. Liaising with representatives from the oil companies who visit and inspect the site. Conducting or ensuring that regular rig inspections are carried out. Assisting other team members such as driller and rig managers with effective running of the rig. The crews. A drilling crew consists of assistant driller, direct man, floor man, crane operator, and also about crew. It will also include maintenance people, mechanics, electrician, medic, radio operator, welder. Once an operation starts, it is a 24-hour-a-day operation and crew will work 12 hours on and 12 hours off periods, ranging from 7 days on and 7 days off to 28 days on and 20 day, 28 days off. Drilling crew members on offshore oil and gas rig setup, operate and maintain the equipment for drilling wells in the search for the oil and gas. Their works include controlling operations on the drill floor and supervising other staff involved in the drilling operations. Assembling drilling, crew, drilling tools and connecting sections of the, of the drill pipe. Operating the machinery that raises and lowers the drill string and bead. Maintaining the speed of the rotation of the drill string, the weight on the bead and the mud circulation rate. Operating the valves that control the flow of oil and gas water. Pressure testing well control equipment during stages of drilling. Keeping records of the drilling conditions and measurements and progress made. Making sure production targets are met. And observing health and safety rules. Now we move to rig components. Major components of the, rig, of the rig include a mud tank is an open top container typically made of square steel tube and steel plate to store drilling fluid on a drilling rig. A mud pump is a reciprocating piston plunger pump designed to circulate drilling fluid under high pressure, up to 7,500 psi, down the drill drilling, uh, uh, down the drill string, and back up the analyst. A derrick is a lifting device composed at minimum one guide mass, as in a gene pool, which may be articulated over a load by adjusting its guides. A drawback is the primary hoisting machinery component of a rotary drilling rig. Its main function is to provide a means of raising and lowering the traveling block. A rotary table is a mechanical device on a drilling rig that provides clockwise rotational force to drill string to facilitate the process of drilling a borehole. Diesel power generator is used to supply power to the rig. The generator is built with material and coating that can withstand the temperature extreme, extreme 
water, saline and wind that are present offshore. Drilling rig auxiliary equipment can be specified as water survival, hoisting plug, fishing tools, adapters, food clamps, loading chambers, etc. Rig component derrick. The structure used to support the crown blocks and the drill string. Usually pyramidal in shape. Function like a crane to move material vertically and horizontally. Comprised of hoisting mechanisms and pulleys or shifts to create mechanical advantage to lift large loads. Derrick is erected to support the tackle for boring, the, to raise the, and lowering the drilling tools in the well and to insert and remove the well casing or pipe. It is usually designed to be tall enough to allow new sections of drill pipe to be added to the drilling apparatus as drilling progresses. Normally, derricks can be handled sections that have a composition of two or three or four joints of drill pipe. Drill pipes are 8 to 10 meter long, so a derrick for three stands is taller than a 190 story building. The substructure provides the, head, the height required for the blowout preventer stack on the well head below the rig floor. The derrick and the substructure must have enough strength to support all loads including the hook load pipe set in the derrick and the wind loads. Rig component draw, draw work. The primary fu function is to reel out and reel in the drilling line a large diameter wire rope. It provides a means of raising and lowering the traveling block. <clears throat> it consists of five main parts, drum, power source, reduction gear, brake, and auxiliary brake. The draw works is a part of the system that rotary drilling rigs use for hoisting or lifting the drill stem and casing out of the hole. The reeling out of the drilling line is powered by gravity and reeling in by electric motor or diesel engine. The drawer is used to hoist or lower several hundred thousand pounds of weight. Rig components rotary table or top drive system. It is a mechanical device that provides clockwork torque to the drill string to drill a borehole. Top drive is an alternative to rotary table. It is located at the survival place below the traveling block and moves up and down the derrick. Rotary table and its system cause the drill bit rotate at the bottom of well bore. It is a precision work positioning device that enable operator to drill or cut work at exact intervals around the, a fixed axis. Rotary drilling is a fast method. In fact, it is significantly quicker than numerous other. It, numerous other conventional drilling techniques. It delivers high integrity results and does not compromise on quality. Recomponent, Blowout Preventer or BOP. It is a safety equipment designed to prevent uncontrolled flow of formation fluids during drilling and completion operations. It is designed to hold pressure from the bottom by closing around the drill string or tubular to restrict the flow. During drilling, mud is pumped down the drill string to lubricate and cool the bit and provide equalizing pressure in the well. If the well's hydrostatic pressure falls below the formation's pressure, a kick can occur, allowing gas, oil, and saltwater fluids to enter the well bore. Essentially, 
a BOP shuts off the valve, the valve leading underneath the machinery to stop any liquid from surfacing in a dangerous explosion or a kick. A level of containment must be maintained when working with the mud and substances that co could cause breaks in the flow of extraction. If you look at the diagram, the blowout preventer is comprised of four main components. Step one upon another. They are the annular preventer, blind ramp, blind shear ramp, and the pipe ramp. The BOP is attached to the steel casing that cemented around the well bore. These are the type of drill bits. A drill bit is a tool designed to produce a generally cylindrical hole in the earth crust by the rotary drilling method for extraction of hydrocarbons. Core drilling requires a specialized tool called drill bits for coring. The purpose is to cut large holes through masonry surfaces like brick, concrete, cement, sandstone, stucco, and tar. Rock bits used to crush or cut rock. Rock bits penetrate the earth by rotating and operate by cutting and flushing out rock fragments. Polycrystalline diamond compact PDC bits are one of the most important material advances for hydrocarbon drilling tools. PDC bits are extremely effective in shale formations. All gas drill bits are broadly classified into two main types of, on the basis of their primary cutting mechanism, rolling cutter bits and fixed cutter bits. Rolling cutter bits drill largely by crushing the formation with tooth shaped cutting element on two or more cone shaped elements that roll across the face of the borehole as the bit is rotated. Fixed crush, fixed cutter bits employ a set of blades with very hard cutting elements, most commonly synthetic diamond, to remove material by scraping or grinding action as the bead is rotated. Drill bits must satisfy two primary design goals. Number one, to maximize the rate of penetration of the formation. And number two is to provide a long service life. This will end our session today. We have gone through drilling key team roles and responsibilities, as well as description of drilling main components. I hope to see you all again in the next session. Thank you all and have a good day.